Hi, I'm Dr. Katie. I'm both a medical doctor and a breast cancer survivor. This video is about being a cancer survivor, what that's like. Um, I want to say that it was initially um, this joyful moment, but it actually wasn't. It was scary. Um, I didn't think I would survive, you know. Um, I was diagnosed with a 7 centimeter tumor, lymph node involvement. Um, they thought that I, I, that was on the left side, they thought I also had a, a, a lump on the right. And I did my chemo up front because, um, you know, initially they thought that it, I was going to be inoperable. Initially they thought that I was going to have metastatic disease and I didn't. Um, I was one of these, um, I guess, lucky people that every stage of the process, um, actually, um, I had a much better prognosis than was thought. And then when I entered this kind of survivorship realm, it was just kind of like, okay, go live your life. But, um, being, um, a cancer survivor, having cancer had changed me. And I certainly had to kind of get back in touch with what I wanted and this new me and this different body. And that was also um, fearing cancer recurrence and the uncertainty of recurrence on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I had this sense of, you know, life um, is giving me a second chance to live. And when I was really sick, there were a lot of things that I had never done that I had always wanted to do or I was too scared to do. Like I was too scared to surf in Byron because I was worried I was gonna get eaten by a shark. I was too scared to get a motorcycle license because I was worried I'd fall off and be like one of my many ICU patients <laughs> with, you know, intubated with lots of rib broken ribs and, um, yeah, getting a tattoo, getting um, a piercing um, in certain areas like on my nose. I just, I had lived a life of fear because I had feared death. And being a cancer survivor, I guess, um, after I kind of went through the weird period initially where I um, adapted and changed and embraced this new um, me, this new reality, um, which I did with um, the support of my friends um, and family um, and with mindfulness meditation and journaling. Um, I've come to this really cool place where I feel like as a cancer survivor, um, there's so many gifts. I'm stronger. Um, I am fearless in a way that I um, used to not be. I surf now. I know how to ride a motorcycle. Um, I take risks in a way that I live fully. Um, I wasn't living fully. Um, I think I'd gotten caught up in the um, medical system and the system was telling me, you know, the kind of career I should be having, the kind of doctor I should be. And, you know, I've taken, I've taken that, um, away from the system and, and I've defined what that's going to be, um, and how I want to help people. And it's just been really empowering. I think I've also been empowered as a, a, a um, single woman who, um, is facing infertility, um, issues and as someone who has relationship broke down because of the cancer diagnosis I'm in this place where I, I'm free to um, cultivate the kind of relationships and the kind of love that I want and I'm allowed to shape um, what it is that my best life is going to be and that's a really liberating place to be. Um, so as horrible as it was I have to say now being a cancer survivor rocks. I'm stronger. Um, I'm happier. I'm thriving. And um, I have cancer to thank for it. It may come back. But you know what? I'm taking it a day at a time. I'm thriving. And if it does, you know, I'll do what I need to do to fight it. Um, and I'm okay. I've faced death. I know that it comes to everyone. When my time comes, my time comes. I, I can't prevent it. Um, death is a part of life. So what am I going to do? I'm going to live fully in the meantime. Um, and I'm going to be happy. And happiness is a choice. And I'm just so 
grateful to be a cancer survivor today.